You have a good day? Yes. How was school? Good. Good? Yeah. Matthew has got a completely different life to his brothers. I know the difference because I have lived a completely normal life with our elder son for seven years, Joseph, and did school, football, swimming lessons, all the normal stuff that kids do. And then Matthew has led a completely different life with medicines, machines, fluid restrictions, diet restrictions. I'd love him to have a normal life, but unfortunately, you know, we just don't, we, we don't get that and we won't get that. And he's in a position where we are desperately waiting for a kidney to become available. And, you know, you, you're living life on the edge. You're waiting for that phone call. Matthew has to take an awful lot of medications a week. The last count was around about 140 tablets a week. And when you're fluid restricted, that is quite tough. He's only allowed a litre of fluid a day. He's on a very tight renal diet. As well as his dialysis and all the other things he has, he's got quite a busy life with regards to medical needs. It has changed the way that we've done things. I mean, I think I took for granted that I would grow up, get married, have children, have a fortnight away every year and, you know, do all the normal things. It really starts to grind you down. It gets to you. I don't want this, I just want Matthew to be fixed so that we can just shut the doors and the curtains and just have a really nice, quiet life. <laughs> Every day is an absolute battle, it's so hard. It's changed everything. If the phone rings after nine o'clock at night, we jump, we pounce on the phone because we think, is this the call, is this the call? I don't want people to feel sorry for Matthew, I want people to sign the organ donor register. My favourite saying is I like to ask people would they take one if they needed one, to which nearly everybody always replies yes. And I say, have you signed the register? <laughs>